Okay, so this is going to be a brief tutorial on how to use the themes configuration program for the themes application for Windows Phone 7 that we're releasing. So basically, when you open it up, you'll have this little themes application uh, that lets you edit uh, that lets you edit your themes and save them, and deploy them onto your device. So there's a couple of different scenarios and different things you can use this for. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is if you want that effect that a lot of people really like with the background uh, behind your tiles. So for that, what you'll do is you'll click background theme, and it'll open up this little box, and here you'll have your default icons, and then uh, a sort of brief instructions. Basically, it says that you need a image that's uh, about a width of about 480 works best, and a height of uh, 173 times how many tiles you have. So anyway, usually about a thousand works. If you have more tiles, you might want some more. Um, but basically, you put your default icons in the order you want them to display because they're rendered from left to right, top to bottom. So in this case, I have phone, people, uh, messaging, marketplace, Internet Explorer games, etc. So I want it in that order. If I wanted them in a different order on my home screen, I would rearrange them over here. And if you don't want one of them rendered, you can click the X button and remove it from the icons list. Uh, the prefix is whatever you want to call your theme. If you're not, if you don't intend to share your theme, uh, you can just leave that as my theme. It won't make a difference. And then go ahead and select an image for it. Okay, so here I have again selected that bug image. And just in the most general case, you can just click render from background. And there you go, and you have your uh, theme all ready to go. And at this point, you can go ahead and save it, or you can deploy it directly onto your device. Now in another scenario, you might want sort of the background to be transparent with sort of an accent color to it, which is an effect someone suggested, and it actually looks pretty cool, so I'll show you that. And basically you'll do the same thing, you'll select your image, and then basically you'll have to enter in a color, and this is, I apologize, not as user friendly as it could be, but you know, it's a start, and we're hoping to improve some of this in the future. So here we have sort of a purplish color, and you'll just drag the opacity to about how transparent you want it to be. And you can have a little preview there. And then just click render from background. And as you can see, it's sort of faded out with a color, which makes it easier to see your, uh, see the text on the tiles. And it just makes it it just makes it look, look a little bit cooler. So that's fun. And again, at this point, you can just deploy it. Now, if you wanted to use uh, custom icons for all of your tiles, what you would do is, for example, with the phone application, you can just double click on it. And it takes you into this familiar little thing. And uh, basically, you can just select a different image to go with it. So as an example, I can use that phone icon that I showed in the, uh, in the preview of this program. And it gives me that little phone icon there. And everything's already filled out because it's a default icon. I can just click Add, and it'll show me there in the preview. Now, if I want to do this for, say, a third-party application, I just go to the Marketplace Lookup. And I'm in America, so I'll use English US, which most applications will be under. And I'll just say, for example, Twitter, if I want a custom Twitter icon. So there's Twitter, and now I need a custom icon for it. Okay, so I'm going to use sort of a theme Twitter application uh, tile for this that I whipped up in Photoshop in a couple of seconds, so don't expect anything amazing. And as you can see there, sort of the, uh, the custom tile that sort of fits with the theme that I'm creating here. And then it adds it down here onto my applications list. And I can do this also with uh, homebrew applications. I can select the zap of it. I can use it with websites, or I can choose some other system applications that are listed here. So again, that's just sort of an example of if you want to create a theme out of your own icons, if you want to do sort of circular icons, if you want to do, you know, whatever, any kind of theme you want to create using your own custom icons, you can do it that way as well. Um, the other thing you can do here is if you want to import a theme that somebody else created, for example, we can import my full purple theme right here. Or there's also some uh, built-in themes that will be included with this, just as an example. Uh, one of them is called Metal, which is sort of a brushed metal look for your start screen, which is kind of cool looking. And then there's a Boca theme, which is sort of this you know, colorful uh, little background theme for your start screen. So that's just sort of an example of how you can import uh, themes from other people. And the theme format, as you can see when you export, you're basically exporting a zip file with a special extension so you know what it is and you can export your theme for sharing with other people you know you can upload it somewhere and you know just send your theme around it you know it makes it 
makes it really easy for certain artists to make themes that people like and then people can apply them onto their phones. And again, in the future, if there's demand for it, we might actually open up sort of a little uh, mobile site or something we can attach onto the app that will let you uh, share your theme and download them and etc. So uh, let us know if you want to see that. Uh, but again, you can export your theme, so I'll just do test and uh, save it. Okay, so that's pretty much the extent of the themes application. We're still taking feedback on uh, different features we might want to add into it. Uh, one of those is we we have on the horizon adding some different default icons. Just let us know what you want to see and we'll be sure to uh, add it into the application uh, as soon as possible. So again, the last thing you need to do once you got your theme all set up, we'll use this one for example, is you can either deploy it directly onto your device if your device is connected or since some people seem to have problems in our previous applications with the deployment feature, you can also just save your zap and uh, deploy it manually with your deployment tool of choice. Um, but since this works on this phone, I'll go ahead and just deploy it and show you how to set it up on your phone. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is remove all the icons off of your start screen. Uh, this is optional, of course. I mean, you can rearrange them, but if you're deploying a background theme, like the one that we're deploying right here, uh, it just makes it a lot easier to get them all arranged properly. So we'll go ahead and just remove these icons. And then now we have literally no start screen, which is kind of a funny little thing there, but, you know, it'll still work. And let's just deploy this real quick. And here we have it loaded up. And this looks pretty familiar to the folders application, but here we have sort of the themes, uh, the different tiles we have listed. And uh, now all we have to do is tap on them and pin them onto your start screen. And now we actually did try to find a way to automate this process, but uh, for some reason the system actually won't let us do that. So. That's a little unfortunate, but we're still trying to work on that and find a way to make this a little easier. All right, so here we have the completed Boca theme, and as you can see, you know, it looks just like it was on the desktop, and there's little spacers in between the tiles, but it still completes the background in a more or less continuous manner, which is pretty cool looking. And again, you can do this with any image and uh, set it as a background here, and it's still got sort of a cool metro effect with the different tiles here, but it creates a continuous background uh, behind all your tiles. And of course, as you would expect, all these tiles do work and they take you where you expect them to go and you can add third-party tiles and stuff on top of this as well. Uh, so that's pretty much how you set up themes onto your Windows Phone 7 device. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know. Uh, any feedback, suggestions, let us know as well on our website, windowsphonehacker.com or on the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Um, it's especially hard on this phone because I had to get a replacement phone and AT&T totally gypped me and uh, this replacement phone is actually has a broken back button.
So, hold on a second.